humble run for the Bravehearts, but they got the key wins that they needed at the right time, beating out top ranked teams, catapulting them to the FCBL championship for the fourth time in four years. And tonight it was a battle of the underdogs as number six Bravehearts took on number five Silver Knights over at Hanover Insurance Park. It was a great crowd on hand enjoying all sorts of food, especially the chicken tenders. Bravehearts welcoming back three pitchers from the 2015 championship years to throw out the first pitch. First inning runner on Silver Knights Ted Williams looking to steal. Bravehearts John Mazza firing to Dante Ricciardi getting the out. Bravehearts pitcher RJ Hall fielding his position well snagging the shot and getting the out to end the inning at first. Bottom of the first, runner on for Dante Ricciardi, who slices one into left. Kevin Duty rounding third and coming home. He puts the Bravehearts up 1-0. The crowd is loving it. They're doing Andy Lacombe's favorite meme dance, which isn't a thing, but you know, we'll let him have his fun with that. Base is loaded for Nick Santucci. Silver Knights, Kyle Benicki turning the double play. Thomas Joyce at first practically doing the splits. That guy is more flexible than I am, and I danced for 15 years. And top of the second, Bravehearts Hall reaching back for the K. He finished the game with five strikeouts. Bottom second, Mariano Ricciardi showing off his speed, stealing second to get into scoring position. Two outs with two runners on for Dante Ricciardi. He gets one through the gap at short. Mariano coming home. We're going to have a play at the plate. Silver Knights get the out to end the inning. The Silver Knights tack on runs in the sixth to get the go ahead. They win the game 4-1. Game two and three, if needed, will be at Nashua starting Saturday and Sunday. Shrewsbury Legion is at the American Legion World Series for the first time in program history. Players say that it's an honor to not only represent Massachusetts, but also New England. Oh, it's so it's so exciting because, you know, we got so many, so many great kids on this team. You know, I just hope that every, all these kids are going to get recognized and, you know, we deserve it more than anyone. It means the world to me. Uh, you know, we always set out to represent our Legion posts first uh, and then we represent the town, we represent the state, and now, North, uh, now we represent New England. It's a pretty cool feeling. Shrewsbury opened the tournament with a win against Michigan on Thursday. The team was set to play Nevada tonight at 7.30 p.m. However, rain and poor field conditions postponed that game till tonight at 10. The game is currently in action. After years of playing in the Liberty League, WPI football is joining the new MAC conference this year. And while there will be familiar teams in the schedule, the w WPI knows that they have to prepare for teams they have yet to see, but the engineers are confident they have the talent to win. And a lot of people, you know, are getting a little worried that, you know, we're in this new conference, but I mean, we got a great coach and staff. They're, they're always, you know, preparing us for the right, like the right ways for the right teams. And I mean, these new teams come to schedule, I mean, we're not worried. We got these, all these young guys coming in. Um, putting on weight over the summer, putting up numbers in the weight room, and I mean, that's all we can really ask for as a team. Some new teams we haven't seen before. Definitely want to see what they're like and uh, get a feel for this league when we uh, when we started out. But we're just excited. We're really excited to be join the rest of the school in the new MAC and just try and win. Win for the school, win for the team, win for us. Overall, in year one, like any conference, I think there's going to be a great amount of parity week to week. I don't think there's going to be teams that are so dramatically better than other teams. You'll see some surprises and you know, I, it, it would be anybody's conference this year. You know, I know that all the teams in the conference that we've played against are very strong teams. The engineers return 11 starters from last year. Head coach Chris Robertson says this is the strongest team he has ever had. WPI opens their season on September 1st against Anna Maria. The offseason is a time where coaches and players can look to see where their team is at and to look ahead to the upcoming season. At Holy Cross, the team has been preparing to play their first FBS team in years. The team is confident that they will win. Opening up with an FBS uh, team is without a doubt a another motivating force. Um, you know, it's something that all our players or most of our players were recruited by FBS teams. Some of them were offered scholarships by some of those teams. So now to actually get one of those games on the schedule is really exciting for them and for us. And, and I think it's an exciting thing for the Holy Cross community as well. We're all real excited to play a you know, high quality FBS team and um, you know something that getting recruited here they, they said was a possibility and I was always looking forward to it and that was something that you know was really enticing to come here and now it's here it's real so we're going to treat it like any other game uh, we expect to win and and then compete and that's what we're going to do so we've been breaking it down on beat UConn since last winter so I think we're all ready uh, we've been watching film of them and uh, obviously they're an FBS school but just like us same age uh, we we believe we can play with them and uh, we're really looking forward to getting after them 
Holy Cross opens their season at UConn on Thursday, August 31st. That'll do it for sports. I'm Brenna Wilson. Catherine, back to you. All right, that's our show tonight for Brenna Wilson. I'm Catherine Inrioli. Thanks for watching Worcester News tonight. Have a great weekend.